My name is Nathan Obed. I'm the president of Inuit Tepric Kanatomy, and I've been in this role for almost six years now. Education is something that I, it's all around us and is some, it's a way of life, really. So uh, I learn new things every day and I'm always looking to understand more about the world. So formal education uh, is a bit different in that you're studying certain subjects at certain times and some you like more than others. Uh, but I really appreciated my high school years and my university years, even if I might not have appreciated them as much when I was undertaking them as I do today. My mother and my family really wanted me to go to university. And that was a, a positive reinforcement. It was an expectation that myself, my brother, uh, and my sister, that we, would, uh, that, we, that we would be educated. And so I, I do thank my mother for that. Uh, I also played hockey, and I played junior hockey uh, in the US, in New Hampshire, and in Montana. And the next step in my hockey playing evolution was, uh, uh, was to go to university. That was the best path for me, and also it allowed for me to, to use my hockey to then get into university, into a better school than I probably would have ever, ever gotten into otherwise. I always loved writing, and I always loved literature, so I, I wanted to be an English major. Also, I wanted to uh, go into school for creative writing, and so uh, that was a driving force for what I wanted to study in university. Once I got to university though, I was thinking a lot more about my identity, uh, thinking a lot more about indigenous rights, and specifically Inuit um, rights and Inuit land claims uh, considerations. So quickly, um, in my university studies, I realized that I wanted to focus on writing and also on uh, indigenous studies. And luckily, I was able to go to an, a university, Tufts University, uh, that allowed for me to do both. You know, I didn't have really any money. <laughs> so the biggest challenge for me was paying rent and um, having enough food to eat. One of the professors that really influenced me in the um, Indigenous Studies degree was a professor by the name of Rana Johnson. And I first was uh, I took a course of hers around beat poetry, and uh, she just was an amazing instructor, but also somebody that took an interest in me uh, as a student and also as an individual. So it's, it's so important, I think, um, to find somebody within the institution that you go to that actually wants to connect with you and wants to be in your corner. The way that I use my education every day is not necessarily just because I studied English and I can write. It is that I see the world in a different way. And I spent four years of my life thinking about how to see the world, how to understand new information that is coming to me, how to interact with my peers. And all of those things can't be bought or you can't necessarily put a price tag in an annual salary on. It is just a way of seeing the world, a way of doing the best that you possibly can do in any job that you undertake. The most important thing that I can say to anyone is that after high school or after you've been away a few years or whatever position you are in your life, today is the easiest day to go to school. <laughs>